Hello, viewers. I'm SB. And I am Amabel. Wow. Uh, and welcome back to uh, Thief the Black Parade. Welcome back to the Black Parade. Where we're, we're fighting the beaten and the damned. Okay, you know, so... Hey, I googled, hey, hey, I googled, I googled the song. I'm I didn't, I didn't you. listen to it, but I did look at words. I'm really surprised you're unfamiliar with that song, because it... I say this with love. Mm -hmm. But it feels like My Chemical Romance would have been your shit around the time My Chemical Romance was no 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 i think there. see i think the core problem is because i think that like younger people who are sort of like in my lane so to speak are like the main chemical romance people i think i was a little too old okay my chemical romance became a thing while i was like in early college and i was kind of not listening to that sort of music anymore already at that point yeah see i i missed it entirely but then i spent a couple years this is the cringiest thing I'm going to admit. Uh, early in transition, I spent a couple years on TikTok, on trans TikTok, and they love that song. Sure, sure. So much. Um. Yeah. Do that know. thing. I don't know who that guy was. This fight has slowly moved out into the hall. Oh, can I actually not get into this? Uh, this window is too narrow, I think, for me. Okay. okay. Never mind. I thought for sure that that was there. I don't know who that guy was or why he was just staring at the wall, and it's gotten me a little freaked out, if I'm honest. Um, But yeah, I, I think I'm going to... Oh, hello. Uh, I'm going to look around a little bit more before we head forward any, because I really don't think we have enough money yet. Oh, this is just the right. We knocked these guys out here. I didn't realize that that was right there. I think I'm going to head back into the city a little bit and see if we can't make a little bit more cash. Okay. Okay. Well, I didn't take any damage. We've alerted that guard. But I think I'm... Uh, th we're back on the side of the gate we're allowed to be on, right? Apparently not. Apparently I'm a Trixie, Trixie person. I've just committed a Trixie murder. Mm -hmm. It's a clever and whimsical beating a man to death with, a, with the blade of a sword. All right. I do only use the flat. I feel like that's sporting. Yeah. Look at that. Jump while the sword's equipped. It's incredible. I probably should put my sword away. So I guess we're still in... We're still on the bad side of the gate. Hold on. There's somebody. Somebody muttering about the trickster. Oh, yeah. Hammerites. That'll do it. Did you ever in that first game when we killed the god? Uh, that was something. I don't know if that's exactly what happened. So what What does that say? Um, Abraham Court's Alm Show? Alm's House. Alm's House is the... Okay, Okay, I can't read it. There's... In In my defense, English is like that sometimes, where it's like... Sometimes an S and an H next to each other was one way, and sometimes it's a different way. <gasps> gross. Very gross. Yeah. Just some bottles. Not the valuable kind. Of oh, that's valuable, though. Potions. Free potions. I believe that's a sprinting potion. Yeah, speed potion. Cool. Who knows when that might come in handy. So I'm not sure if this hammer dude's gonna try to murder us if he sees us. Yeah, might be there. Just my luck. All right, we are definitely in White Bell still. So we got a wizard and also, you know, one of the classic hammer hammer guys. I'm a little leery of attempting to rush forward and clonk this guy with the other 
Oh, okay. And also there's another one over there. Jeez. Somehow they've surrounded us. Amabel? How did I let yep. myself get tactically outmaneuvered by fucking hammers? Terribly, uh, well. terribly embarrassing. I thought he was going down the street that way. Verily, I caught a filthy rat not two hours ago. Uh, why? <laughs> why stop here and talk? <laughs> you ever been around one of those guys who's just like a jerk? He likes to just like bump into people with his shoulder? Yeah. Just to, just to be a big man, just to prove that he's tough or whatever. That was like a very extreme version of that that we just saw. <laughs> Neither one of them would admit that they couldn't move the other. Let's very quickly get this body out of here. Right. It doesn't need to be hidden. It just needs to be out of the direct line of sight of this area. You saw nothing? He definitely shouted, who art thou? I forgot that the hammers talk in uh, a very particular idiom. Yeah, I mean, they gotta sell this. Uh, they gotta sell this old school religious fanatic idea somehow. And in a setting where you're already basically medieval, old school is a little tricky to accomplish. Yeah, you gotta. You <laughs> you really gotta dig deep. Okay, good. This other guy is coming. Back on his patrol path. Yeah. Please don't see me, Mr. Wizard. Uh-oh. Really quiet. Did something make a noise? I still, now. He still heard me. I tried to be as quiet as possible across the grate. I forgot. Grates are really loud. Okay, so if we're gonna go for it, we gotta I can't delay that much, but I was trying to make sure that the um the wizard was not yeah. in a position where he could see us. Cause I do not want to have to deal with fireballs. We're already very badly injured on account of I'm an idiot who's terrible at this game. That was a pretty big spider in your defense. Alright, go fast, go fast, go fast. Oh no, I'm stuck. <clears throat> it was a pretty big spider. Spider relative. It was fairly unusual. Is that an arrow? No, it's a broken arrow. Okay. Boy, they sure do love that broken arrow prop. I, presumably, it's a reference to their favorite John Travolta film. Well, yeah, John Travolta is in that, isn't he? I think of it more as a Christian Slater film. Harsh. Sick burn on Broken Arrow. I don't mean to be like that. I'm sorry, Christian Slater, if you're listening. Try to he, keep probably, his... he probably is. I mean, what has he been done lately? He probably is just watching your LPs. All right, I got I got seen because I'm bad, but I'm gonna let him come around the corner. We're gonna we're gonna abbreviate his line of sight advantage as much as possible here. I he, find thee again. he seems to be having some trouble finding the villain. Oh wait wait, he took two entire steps. Come forth and fight. I might have to come forth and fight him. Oh. Builder, I... <laughs> Garrett, die! What the hell? <laughs> that dude's tough. Let me <laughs> tell you something. If you hit me on the top of the head with the blade of a sword, uh, even once, <laughs> even once, I will, I will at the very least react. That dude is like made of iron. <laughs> yeah, like like once for me is two times too many. I'm already, I'm done. 
Yeah, like I'm I I'm bleeding from the head right now, and nobody's hit me with a sword in days. I keep telling you, you need to get that looked into, sweetheart. Yeah, but if they look into it, they're just going to see the same thing I saw, which is like a lot of blood. It's not new information to anybody. Identify thyself. Is someone there? Region all seems peaceful now. It sure does. The most peaceful. Anyway, if we tell other people, I press. I'm embarrassed. I pressed auto load instead of. I pressed quick load instead of quick save. Oh, if no. we tell other people about this miraculous fount of blood, this never ending fount of blood, then they're going to try to take it all to make their sausages and puddings. I shall, I shall not surrender this competitive market advantage so easily. Have you ever made sausage before? That's a grim joke about capitalism, everybody. Stick no, I, a, I know. Stick around. There will be more. I've never made sausage, no. It's it's pretty gross. Yeah. That's why they, that's why they got that saying. Yeah, I believe that. I could see how that could be the case. That saying, have you ever made sausage before? It's pretty gross. It's a famous saying. The uh, the phrase that I always think of with sausages is I read I read like a historical thing where somebody um, in the process of decrying sausages suggesting that a sausage from the market is a thing that a commoner should neither buy nor consume uh, he referred to sausages as little bags of mystery. That makes them sound rad. Well, it's much better that way. I think the idea is like, do you, do you want to eat mystery? Yeah. You know, do you want mystery in your mouth? I'm gonna I'm gonna blow everybody's mind here. Uh oh. Uh oh. I mean That guy was walking in a different direction than I was expecting. I mean um, look, if if I was on her and there was a trans girl named Mystery, I would swipe right. Amabel. <laughs> well, never mind the thing I was about to say, which is that in my opinion, it's unwise to invite mystery into any of your orifices. <laughs> you, you have deftly countered that. What do you think, like arrows? Maybe, I, maybe I like, maybe I kill him from cover. <laughs> I shot him in the face with an arrow, and he went ah. I mean, I get it. How is he still? Oh, he is too much alive. To be fair, most of those shots weren't very charged. Okay, but even a little bit of an arrow in my face. Fuck you. No, there's no headshots in this though. I love his. I love his single step sideways. Lend thy strength to um. me, mine comrades. Was that just fully the wrong sound effect that played there? He shot a fireball into the wall behind me and it made like a it made like a an empty bottle noise. Oh, did you see that shot? Good job, sweetie. Thank you. I need to get this corpse out of here before that guard sees it. What an incredible skill. Well, I don't. I don't know if I like that. That doesn't feel right. What me complimenting you? Well, that and you know. Oh, and what? Because let's be honest, we both know how you usually talk to me. Okay, mysterious ladder. Oh. Sure. Let's go, mysterious ladder. Amabel, could you please like just play along with a bit once in a while, just a little bit. As though we were making an entertainment product. <laughs> I don't know what improv class you went to. <laughs> I was always like, a lot of entertainers are going to try to do this yes and thing, but that's for bitches. What you should do is act like everything they do hurts your feelings. <laughs> oh, shit. Health potion. Oh, you need that. Okay, I can't get into the building, but I can grab this health potion through the window. That's a really fun design for an area. Mm -hmm. 
and probably this, drink it. This mod's like pretty good. Oh shit! Well, <laughs> this was my concern. Annabelle. Okay, it's really hard to see where the ladder is, which makes it really hard to. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Well. I think I can. I'm gonna go out of the limit and say I can do this without taking any fall damage. <laughs> Let me figure it out. Let me figure it out. Okay, I believe in you. Aha! Aha! She finds the controls for the ladder eventually. Better save down here. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Yeah. I was looking around up there. And the reason mm -hmm. I eventually looked in that window was that I couldn't figure out a reason for that area to exist. A reason from the player perspective mm -hmm. for that area to exist. And then when I did keep looking around, I was, I was rewarded, right? Yeah. What do you think about that kind of design? Like, do you think that if there is such an area, it should have, like, there should be a reward for a player going up there? There should be a player's reason for everything in the world, or? You know, it really depends on the game and the expectations it sets and the type of gameplay it's trying to... Um, incentivize. I think something like this, where it's about mastery over the environment and sneaking around, but there should be something up there, or being up there should give you some kind of tactical advantage over over the people, give you a viewpoint. I, I think it makes sense for Hume and his whole deal. Okay. You know, where, there are other games, though, where, you know, just the verisimilitude of, you know, houses have roofs. You can get on a roof. Maybe it's up and up on a roof. Makes sense. You know, it really depends on where you're going. But I think um, particularly something like the Thief series, which in the first two games, at least, more so in the second, the first one's a little rough in places, but the, there is a kind of a focus on map design on the flow of spaces and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And that's really kind of missing from the third one. Um, I do feel like that incentivizes this kind of level design where there's going to be something wherever you go, at least something to look at, some some little trinket. It could even just be a little bit of world-building thing. That's um, a guy right there. I... I almost assaulted a guard in full view of that, uh, that citizen. Which would probably have been counterproductive from my point of view. I could eat my own boots. That guy's doing my old man impression. <laughs> I still want to... I, I still want... Okay, the, the, the next note we read. Regardless... Of how appropriate it is. Can you please read it in your old man impression? Mm. Uh, see, now I think you've built it up too much. For me, out of love for me. Oh no, it's. I don't think it's built up at all. The only way for this to work is I'm gonna have to bust it out when it's least expected. Well, that was money. How much money was that? Not a lot. Something. You, you know what I'm least expecting it now is the next time because you've just said that. So uh, now I don't think you're going to do except it. Except now that you've said that. Which now sets the expectation that you won't do it. So now it is again more unexpected. <laughs> Someone should really do something about these awful street thieves. You mean the children? Of course I mean the children. They steal everything they see. Just this morning, one of them robbed me. And the lawmen did nothing. Bunch of tappers. They never do their job correctly. Oh, I don't think you want to come up here. Stop. He's right here! Oh, what was that? Well, you just got everybody clonked, lady. What is that? It's just a lever handle. Hmm. What's this guy doing down here in a dark corner with this lady in a lever handle? The world may never know. 
town's full of perverts, I don't know. I knew there was a reason you wanted me to play this game with you. <laughs> uh, it does look like there's not a lot else going on over here. So Gretchen's Farm Fresh Vegetables, I was hoping was going to be a place we could get into. And maybe steal Gretchen's Farm Fresh Payroll. But, uh, no such luck. It does hmm. seem like a, like a modernized, there's probably some refrigeration, right? Maybe. I thought for sure that was going to be a good score. Okay, so this is just right on the other side of the gate. Hmm. Probably not a lot for us right <sighs> here. And unfortunately, there are lots of shops that are not robbable. Ooh, okay. All right. This is something. Don't like all that flickering. Yeah, sorry, I'm moving away Those from it. spooky times. Wait, is this the public works building? Is this just, maybe this is a different... Maybe there are different routes through it. Or maybe it's just a different sort of power substation. There's definitely somebody at the top of these stairs, which I can only sometimes climb while crouching. Makes sense to be multiple routes in and through it, though, with the way the game is. Yeah, you know, the original game is kind of less linear. Yeah. I'll find you. Just you wait. Well, that guy definitely had the opportunity to see me. I don't know how much he did exactly. Some, some it would seem. Hmm. So I'm not gonna be able to get. There's some. There's some measure of. I've already forgotten how the damage calculations worked. There's some measure of bonus damage against enemies who are unaware of you, right? Yeah. I don't think I'm, I'm making that up. No, that that I remember that being accurate. Someone making noise. You know what? I'm just gonna get this too. Make my life a lot easier. Okay. Inconvenient. Hmm. All right, is this archer the archer from the other? <coughs> oh. No, okay, he has a patrol path that goes that way. The person from over here is receding. Okay. Did I get that key? I got the key. Good job. All right. That's probably a key for this footlocker here, would be my guess. Uh, a guard's key. I do appreciate the, like, the diegetic naming. Like, if they're not going to tell me what the keys are for, that kind of naming at least helps me keep the keep straight, like, where I got it and thus what, what yeah. like, makes sense within the logic of the world for it to be for. Whereas sometimes you'd pick up a key in, in the other game and it'd just be like, the last name key. And it's like, I don't, what the fuck? I don't even know who, I don't even know who Rogers is. Captain America. Thank you, Amabel. That's definitely what we're talking about. What I appreciate about you yeah. is how good you are at staying on topic. <laughs> Is someone see, taffing about? Let's see if I was on a dating app. I came across a trans girl named Topic. <laughs> what was that? 
There was a sound that was not okay. I don't know. There's a lot of noises going on around here. Did that shadow move? Oh, this guy's coming this way. Okay, well, we're gonna maybe uh, head up these stairs. Let's see what's up here. It's funny how where the guards are is like so reliably a good way to figure out where the loot is when you wouldn't necessarily like it makes sense that loot would be guarded but like this isn't a loot place this is just like where these guys work right yeah and so you wouldn't necessarily expect in the real world that that would be like a place where there's a lot of valuable stuff automatically but in video games it sure does always seem to be the case Hate to give you the risk without the reward, you know? Yeah. Ooh. Is that you? Flashbangs and money. I think we got another incursion from White Belt last night. A boxman was trying to pick Mr. Uh, Mr. Kettermal's door, so I gave him a chase and he ended up falling to his death through a derelict flight of stairs. Judging by his foul odor, you see here we have some of those bonus hues. He may have taken the sewer route. I think sending uh, Salmon and Whalen to investigate would be wise, and someone should remind this dense grease hand that his job is to stay in these sewers and not spend his nights drinking at the tavern by the court. Maybe we should send a letter to the quill pushers of the public works on the matter. Bottom line is, we can't have White Belt vermin breaking into Runswick like that, especially with the lockdown and the bailiff's orders. Now, here's the strange thing. He was carrying flash bombs and good lockpicks. That kind of material is way too expensive for white belt gallow bait. The lockpicks are broken beyond repair, damn it. <laughs> but the flash bombs are still in shape. I got so excited. I've put the corpse under the stairs in the courtyard if you want to investigate. I'm keeping the flash bombs for myself. I've always wanted to have some of these anyway. That's weird. That is weird. <laughs> One last thing. The lieutenant doesn't need to know about this. All he's going to do is throw a tantrum like a child and double our already doubled watch hours. I have enough of that, so you better keep your mouth shut. Well, I'll tell you, again, coming from this, like, if they designed it that way, there must be a reason for the player uh, mm -hmm. kind of thing. I'm going to move this body into the stairwell proper. Um, I can't put it down here, but I can make a horrible sound. There we go. Um, I'm expecting that there's a good reason for us to investigate the body. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> okay. I don't care for that. Sorry, I found the I found the grunt button. <laughs> it's not really a great place to stow this guy. I guess out here on this balcony with the other with the other body. <sighs> It doesn't create any extra risk, at least. If somebody finds one of them, they found them both, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. See, I kind of want to go out into the courtyard and check out the stairs, which means tangling with this, this fellow over here again. Because if there's something up with this body, if there's some great reason to check out this body, I wanna want to have done it. Out of curiosity, since he just went in here. Did that, uh... Did that fake guard spook you too? A little bit, yeah. Okay. That's locked. Does it open with our guard's key? No. Someone... <clears throat> Don't fall forward, don't fall forward. Oh god. Okay. It is a shame that like once you hit them, their body becomes a completely uninteractable object until yeah. they've finished falling. Because I would love to have just caught that guy. Yeah, that'd be cool. That, 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 would, that would feel really cool. Okay, so here we're in the space between the gates here. 
bunch of scattered papers for some reason, a uh, lever that I really don't want to pull. Okay. Once again, <laughs> fake card. Absolutely got me. So, do you think that was the guy that we saw in the courtyard earlier? I don't know. So much throat clearing. And I can hear footsteps from so many different places. Well, it doesn't seem like there is anything special about this body. I wanted to pick it up just in case it had loot on it, because that would give us the loot. Um, but no, it's just a weird body. Huh. Okay. Strange. Strange that it was specifically brought up to us. That, you know, the specifically made available for us the information that there's a body in the... Huh. I mean, it adds a little bit to, like, just... I don't know, the callousness of the guards to put a body there. Sure. Sure, I don't think it's a bad thing to have done, to be clear. I just... Very interesting. All right, there's somebody yelling. I don't know if I... if we got caught if I was stepping too loud or what, but there was somebody else up in this hallway at some point. Okay, what? There's a bucket on that man's head, which I guess is kind of helmet. Nope, not valuable. Put it down gently on the carpet. I remember the difference between the put things down and the throw things buttons, which is good. Okay. Yeah. I remember that sometimes goblets, like <laughs> certain kinds of objects are valuable when they're a certain color. And I don't always remember which things are which. Like the bottles, these green bottles are not worth anything, but the, the sort of the browner bottles are. Maybe the idea is that the green bottles are empty. And the other ones have the valuable liquor inside them. Not coffee. It's interesting. Oh. I think that guy across the way saw us. It's fine. I don't know that he has a way over here. So this, this is probably a way across, right? Like from the, hmm. There are dog noises and they are definitely up. Dogs in stealth games. It's me, you taffer. Just call your dog a taffer. <laughs> Boring, boring, boring. Oh, I think that's two guys. I think that's at least two guys. Did you see hmm. something? No, over there. <sighs> that dude's really booking it. He can't see me, but it's lit out there. That have come from. No, shit, fuck, shit. Damn it, not lethal. Ah. Fuck. Well, he's gotten away. And maybe returning with friends. Oh, he's opening the main gates. That's cool. Yeah. So he would have gone through here then. We opened this gate, I see. Ah, right. And this was the main gates. Okay. 
Interesting. So, kind of a one-way passage, actually. He's not going to be able to get back here this way. Because the switch is on this side mm -hmm. and too far inside to be pulled through. Okay, whatever. I mean, look. He got shot with a bunch of arrows. Yeah, if I was him, I wouldn't... Not... I, I, I quit. Yeah. Right? I'm not coming back. Ooh. This is a fancy person's office. Sounds like there's I'd... somebody in here. <sighs> but I heard something. Come back out here, you tapper. Fancy guard. He's got he's got different color armor, so you know he's deadly. Okay, well. Listen, he probably deserved to die. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay, we got something from there, but we don't get to know what because the game doesn't tell you. Was it important? It might be. Was it a key? Who knows? Let's see if we can eyeball it. So we're 331. We picked up a second uh, public works key at some point. I'm going to eat all of the cheese in my possession real quick. We did get one, one health back from that. So that's fun. That's valuable for sure. So I have a question about this fancy office we're in. Yeah. You think it's an old fancy person? <laughs> no, I think it's that. I think that was the guy. Oh. Bailiff Baudrillard, even though I am relatively new to this position, you will learn that I am not one to be trifled with, and incidents such as the one that happened last night are utterly unacceptable. I ignore how my predecessor used to run things, but I can assure you that your men's laziness will not be tolerated any longer. I don't care if white bell mercenaries don't do their job. Preventing scum from coming from this blasted lair of crime and debauchery from entering Runswick is yours, especially when they are all riled up and looking for faces to smash. You should consider yourself lucky, for only a few shops and houses were vandalized by the rioters, but from now on you have no margin of error. Consider this... Oh no, this was a Burgomaster. I didn't read it by Burgomaster voice at all. What a terrible miscarriage of duty. Ah. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Very slick. Hey, ah, okay, there's nothing in there. Since they, like, added all this tech... Mm-hmm. I'm like expecting for things to be behind the the, the uh, tapestries, and so far I've been very disappointed up until now. Oh, look at that, a signature. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm jumping at like silly things, but no. these are cool improvements. Yeah, no, it's really, I really think it's cool and I really appreciate it. And I like your sense of wonder at it. It's something <laughs> that I really love about you and the way you engage with games. I want to like things, all right? I know I come across <laughs> real negative a lot of the time, but I want to like things. People just keep letting you down. Uh, by my count, this is the second missive you have received requesting that my men are granted access to the battlements of Runswick, and the first from my estate that has needed such a follow-up. Each steward of the six sections whom my underlings approached hitherto understood their position as facilitators, not bulwarks. I'm not accustomed to consulting the lay authority for favors myself. I have more to call upon than I can count for sure, but it is rare that my needs are not known and met in advance. See that I receive permission before the next moon, and you will not dread the next visit you receive from Commissioner Morton. Ooh. Ant Antonin, Antonin de Waal? Something like that, yeah. Well, now that's interesting. That's a mine. Hmm. Was the bailiff planning to uh, <laughs> to eliminate this upstart? I just imagined if Mario was in Thief and he said, that's a mine. <laughs> uh, and here's some toilet reading, I guess. 
Sure, the newspaper, that makes sense. The Dayport renovations have officially begun, spearheaded by a desire to modernize Dayport's districts and wards and also to showcase the city's grandeur to foreign sailors and merchants navigating on the Elm Ocean. The Baron's great project is one of proportions never seen before. Indeed, the Baron and his architects aim to demolish more than half of Dayport's narrow streets and serpentine alleyways to replace them with vast avenues, one of which, the Baron's Way, will run east to west and will continue all the way to Whitebridge and downtown. Can you imagine the city without a fucking, like, completely arbitrary tangle of extremely narrow streets everywhere? Willing to give Dayport a brand new aesthetic, the Baron has solicited the services of renowned uh, Bonian architects Volodymyr Stepanov and Fedir Solovy. While a small portion of the city council voted against, most were ecstatic at the prospect of these grand renovations. Your humble servant will follow this project with great attention and report to the best of her ability. More on page 8. Attacks continue along Hag Hill Forest. With most of the Baron's forces out on the battlefield, and his police only present in the city and neighboring vassal towns and villages, many of the roads running across the heartland fall prey to highwaymen and other knaves looking for easy plunder. Hag Hill Forest has become a fertile ground for these criminals, and many merchants and travelers have been attacked these past two months. The situation has become so alarming that Hammerite patrols along the roads have been reinforced threefold. That's a lot of folding. This prestigious paper advises its dear readers to avoid the roads crossing Hag Hill Forest and to travel along the coast instead. Gee, I wonder if that's going to come up again. So to be clear, a lot of, a lot of like, fan maps are maps. This is a campaign. This is a, I believe, a 10 map okay. uh, campaign of, of stuff. So there is, we are going to see... A variety of, of settings here. Mm, I hear I hear noises that make me feel like spiders. I feel spidery noises. I mean, I love a little free cheese. Is that cheese just sitting on top of a piece of like a piece of stationery, like a letter someone wrote? It was. Oh, We're not allowed to yeah. look at that. Carolyn. And here I thought my transfer to South Quarter would be sweet and painless. Of all the men I've worked with, the bunch of slobs I'm commanding here are the worst of the worst. All they do is drink all night long while they're supposed to be on duty. A few really angry guys from White Bell came to Runswick and started messing things up while they were playing cards. And the good-for-nothing bailiff blamed it on me. They also have the nerve to tell me that they categorically refuse to climb the station's wooden staircase because it looks uneven and dangerous. I think they're probably in the right there. Lazy crittens. It's true these stairs have seen better days, but they look fine to me. I wish I could return to Downlock. Now the peeps we both commanded were a sharp bunch. Weird. What a weird way to write that. So I'm guessing that that's... I take it that that's supposed to be... The staircase that the thief ran uh, straight through and fell to his death. Yeah. Oh, I just picked. I just picked that one up. A note about smoke bombs, sir. I found them smoking bombs. I told you about. As I said to you last time, they're damn good for crowd control. Throw one of these bad boys in a group of plebs, and they'll all be gasping for air in no time. In addition to being slowed down quite a lot. The degree to which this is like game mechanics as as in world text, they'll also be thirty percent more vulnerable to damage. <laughs> now, my brother Patrick also told me that he uses them sometimes to get rid of all the taffing spiders, rats, and sweels he has in his house. I told him a hundred times to clean his place, but he's too lazy for that. He just smoke bombs the house occasionally. <laughs> Anyhow, show these to the bailiff and hopefully he'll let us have some fun next time those brigands from White Bell try their luck in our turf. Ah. Also, money! Oops, put this away. Okay, well that's rad. We got smoke bombs. That is a new thing, if I am not mistaken. That's just a bone in a bowl. 
That's a bed all the way on the floor. I feel like you gotta you gotta have your bed raised up a little bit, right? Like Yeah. In in my twenties I had a floor bed and it was not necessarily it, the best for my back. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about me. Like I am a highly irrational person. <laughs> Okay. I sometimes have an irrational fear. Is like I guess what I will actually the way I'll put that. And yeah. like I just feel like if your bed is laying all the way on the floor, the number of spiders that crawl across you in the night has got to be so much higher. Right? Yeah. Cuz that's just like that's their highway. The floor is the highway of spiders. Famously. Famously. Yep, that dog is in there. That's that's smart. Like, make a dog. Locational sound. Door you can't open. Like, that's a that's a cool idea. I was afraid there was gonna actually be a dog. Like a game mechanics dog that we would have to deal with somehow. And I'm glad to see that it's not the case. Okay, well, I feel like we have done. A lot of very dubious work in here, and now it's time to go. I didn't mean to pick up that quote unquote knife. Alright, I feel like it's time to get back to the thing we were doing. Uh, where are we at wealth wise? Only 368. Honestly, not that good. Yeah, hard is pretty hard. I assume the, the threshold is. Yeah, I mean, it's it's sort of interesting, like, um, raising the loot threshold, it doesn't actually seem, it doesn't, I wouldn't describe that as a thing that makes the level harder. It makes you have to be more thorough, but, like, when I think the difference between normal and hard, if you told me you can put this game on hard, the assumption I have is that, like, the combat mechanics change. Nobody tells me Sure. Anything. Just that we're on the lookout for some thugs. Some thugs? I know where they are, and they're not near this gate. Why aren't we in the quarter proper? Oh, ain't going there. Don't want to find myself at the end of a sword that's not mine. Uh, I'll see you later at the alehouse anyway. The guy only wants to be stabbed if it's with his own sword. But I remember in, in the first game uh, that level with the hammer haunts where like we had to just hunt down. Oh yeah, like because... every piece of treasure on the whole place. Yeah. And... Yeah. See, like, do you consider that to be hard? Is that is that a difficulty I... thing to you? No, I mean, I don't think it is, but but the game clearly did. Yeah. But, like, no, it doesn't feel like it's is reasonable a reasonable like increase of difficulty i know the idea is that you're going to be having Who's to sneak more there? but it's really just okay you taffa i'll find you i am concerned that i may have gotten seen oh, quite now must have been rats <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> yeah i think it's something like um, Came so close to death there <laughs> i think it's something like like doom where the difficulty settings impact the num the the number and toughness and behavior of the enemies, and also the amount of, of power ups that are available, like giving you fewer resources, giving you more enemies or tougher or smarter enemies, that feels like a difficulty increase to me. Yeah, agreed. You know, I'll say one thing I appreciated about Thief 3, which, you know, I don't think either of us were hugely taken with, um, was that because you were just having to use the money to, to, to you know, buy your, your things, there, I don't remember there being, like, wealth thresholds for the missions. Maybe there were, and I'm misremembering, but, like, I, I feel like wealth thresholds aren't necessarily... A compelling part of the gameplay. I find you, you... Well, I think we both talked about how much we thought that was a better, uh, yeah, a better way for that to work. 
I think what happened with that guy is like he 100% fully saw me, right? But he doesn't because this area is not actually connected by floor, like by pathable floor to the area down there. He had to give up on me because he just can't, he actually can't path to me. Like this window, I think, is the only thing connecting those two areas. You think something that I appreciate about about this game where like um you said the the kind of setup of it is that because you're not a keeper you don't have the same things Garrett does. Mm -hmm. I like the way that retroactively makes some of the kind of goofy guard behavior and goofy like inability to see you it, it, it it makes it feel less goofy. Well, I mean that's not that's games. not retroactive. That's you know that's text in those games. Okay, I don't. I maybe forgot that part. But Garrett has that. Garrett has that special training, and so he is. Huh. Yeah. I found a doorknob. I I, I guess have experiences something where you don't have that training is interesting. No, I really feel like. Uh, Maybe it's and the door of course, for this door. I don't know what to do with this. It's weird. Of course, we'll we'll see as the game progresses here, but I definitely feel like there's a lot of room for like playing characters who aren't Garrett in this yeah. sort of thing. The kind of because one thing I disliked about the story of the other games, is, especially as they moved on, was how Garrett became like. <sighs> the super special boy. Yeah. And just having, like, a different thief, I think, is red. I, I love to see a lady thief, too. I mean, I, I hate to be basic like that, but, like... I want to see a rad lady steal stuff and club people. I can't get past this door. Let it open. See, it doesn't open all the way. And then yeah. I tried to sneak past it. Okay, well that time it worked, but I, I kept getting stuck because the door frame, the door handle, is preventing it from opening all the way. All right, so we picked up some some cash in there. Okay, we're at four oh three. Okay, that's we're pretty a lot good. closer. And I still think probably there's gonna be quite a bit to find in the orphanage. There may be, there may be. Um, I will say that I think it's very strange to find a doorknob in a treasure chest. I guess not a tre, but you know, like a box in any case. And it makes me feel like there is probably something to do with it. Okay, we got we got the dunk of having picked up an item there. But I know not what. You wouldn't believe what I saw just then. A small group of people was making a racket under the gate from Runswick to Newmarket. We should really find it a name. And we descended to investigate. And normally we'd beat these guys who try to get to White Bell, but these people were hammers. And they were really well armed, which is weird. They even had a preacher with them. You know, these lunatics with light rods? They explained they were going to smite the heathens and blah, blah, blah. Hey, where do they think they are? If White Bell isn't the central arse of the city, I don't know what is. And no amount of hammers will change that. What a strange... What a strange thing. Okay, so we're at 420 now. And whatever it was that we just dunked, I, I have no idea. I have no idea what it was. We're probably picking up some of the time when we like when we get an item and the game doesn't tell us what the item is. It's probably like arrows. Um, how do you feel in the previous games about like the difficulty threshold involving finding specific items? I don't know what you mean. Uh, so in the previous games, like you would have to what some of your objectives would be like you know so and so has a nice cup and i'm going to get that cup yeah and, and like the higher we... your difficulty the more of those you got yeah i feel like we talked about this a bunch yeah i forgot <laughs> oh <laughs> been a minute uh, okay maybe we don't want to be over here maybe this is too spooky of an area I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... 
I'm gonna find my way back to the uh, to the Orphanage. place. Hey, guess what? That that wasn't how you wanted it to go. Huh? Did you see him lean? That's very fun. Oh, he called guards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we knew he was doing that. This is that guy that I beat up earlier. He's probably got like one health left. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he's recovered a little. I don't know that I think that it, that block should have functioned. Okay. All right. Are we uh, done? Are we done? Mind your me? health, sweetheart. You mind my health. I am. I'm. Oh, well, okay then. Good. I'm then. Good job. F9, save successful, health minded. So, okay, we came up from there already. I'm just trying to make sure, like, I'm just looking around. I'm just being thorough. I am leaving guard corpses in the middle of the street. We've reached that part of the run. I'm reasonably sure I've uh, killed or deconsciencified everybody on this side of the gate. I don't think I don't think there are any people left. That's generally how you do it. It's a silent bones promise. Eventually, there will be no enemies left on the map, so you can wander around at your will. This is what I'm saying. If we're going to find all the valuables... A pox upon these farmers! The flower costs twice its usual price now. Desperate times, desperate measures. You know how Fat Veril is still in business, despite his wine being the most repugnant stuff you have ever tasted? Why, that sneaky taffer asked the Glassmakers Guild to deliver him bottles with a bounced bottom so he can keep a little for more. We should do something like that, too. Instead of buying cheaper flour, methinks we should add something to the dough so we can keep a little for more bread. Not gravel, though. The last doer who did that got burned alive in his own oven by an angry mob. Jesus. <laughs> what do you think of adding roots and straw? We'll discuss it in the morning when I come back from my brother's place. Y'all, okay, let me just... Some of the people watching this are children. All right. Yeah. And I want to I want to make sure that I um, I feel like I have a responsibility to help people live a long and fruitful life. If you are going to do a crime, especially if you are if you are considering doing a crime for which the last person who did it was horribly murdered, brutally murdered by others when they found out, don't write that shit down. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, ha ha, stupid, wrote it down on a paper. I would just send the message with my phone. No. No. No, that is still writing it down. I know you think WhatsApp is secure or whatever. Just don't write it. Just don't do that. Talk about shit in person. It is always shut the fuck up Friday. Anyway. Trying to keep some of you little, uh, trying to keep some of you little hoodlums out of jail. I'm just remembering when, uh, in the wire, when they had the meeting, and they were, they were taking minutes. Yep. And the stringers. The, like, the, the Roberts rules. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I was a little aggressive with my declaration that we were clear of people. Hold on, what's this, Mister Sherburn? I have received your complaint. You accuse me of cutting my liquors with seawater. But I assure you, it is in fact only pure and fresh water I take from the well every morning. The, the wells here are so gross. Please gaze at the extent of my efforts. I only want the best for my clientele. However, such rumors could very well be the end of small shops like mine. And this is why I offer you this little gift in exchange for your silence. Please accept this modest present. It represents my most sincere apologies. A twelve-year-old bottle of creme bleu directly from my personal cellar. Please re uh, rest assured that this one here isn't cut with water. Plumly, gin cellar and occasional sommelier. That door's not openable, so we can't... Can't get in there to mess with stuff. Okay, there is for sure somebody walking. The board's out here. This person is very forgetful. The 
Guess what? I wonder what this key is for. Uh, that's a padlock. Cannot interact with it, so it's not for that. Um? Huh. The game did a horror movie sting when I turned to look at this chair behind it. Yeah. I don't... Um, by itself, I don't think that's necessarily that scary, but the game telling me that it's supposed to be scary has made it a little scary. Yes, this is like a like a shitty tenement block, I guess. Well, I feel bad stealing from these people. But we got a quota to meet. Brave men's wanted. Cast out all witches and pagans. And also, I picked up a letter. A thief's letter, no less. Schwab, be helpful for once and buy us some, some meat. Nothing too expensive. We ain't rich. Something like chitterlings, or better, a slink. I just can't eat another bone of from mental. What? Better be careful, though. I think Jeb ratted us to the watchdogs. Rupert ended up in the stocks yesterday. I've hidden a fizzle arrow in a gutter in Dogleg if bad things happen. Oh. A gutter in Dogleg. Okay. Okay. Hey, speaking of the idea of things being hidden, I wonder. <sighs> It's too high up for me to... I wonder if I could get it from... Oh, from this table? It is so hard to get around. Carrot, you are... Sorry, Hume, you are so clumsy. Alright, well, this person doesn't much care for witches and the like. No good thing you stole from them. Yeah, that justifies my, my theft. Yeah. This I room bet. has a bunch of... Dirt and uh, uh, an already chopped tapestry, which I cannot slide aside. I bet you can find a way to justify the theft of, from every person that you steal from. Oh, absolutely. I'm very talented. Uh, I would like to eat this carrot, please. Oh, I have cheeses, too. Yum. I will say this. Eating food is the only reason I'm alive right now, because we have gained one health from food. There's so much text in this level. <laughs> Gylip, someone told me you're looking for some muscle to pummel some faces at the orphanage. That's a fucked up thing to do. Very bad idea, my friend. Very bad idea. The guy who owns this place? He's got his greasy fingers in every pie in Newmarket. Where it is, he even has some connections with the wardens. Think about it, man. Losing your purse to some, bad, some damn pickpocket isn't that bad. Just forget about it. I'll pay you a drink at the tavern tomorrow if you want. Besides, Cruller Stooges came in early this morning to ask me if I saw any suspicious guys loitering about. Well, I told them. Aside from the usual beggar regurgitating his nappy ale through his teeth right in front of my windows, and the smelly peddler I paid you to keep out of my street, nothing out of the ordinary. What a bunch of useless taffers. Hey, we know this guy. The person yeah. who wrote this letter, we heard him. <laughs> Last episode, we heard him be grateful that we knocked out that dude. Okay, and, and and arrows, and arrows. This is probably what that key was for, yeah? Tenement's key. Indeed. All right, well, hold on. I'm not done in the tenements yet. Hello. I think, I don't, this is, what is this a map of? I can't take it. I assume it's not important. This is the bathroom. Oh, good. There's two of them in here. In case somebody's busy and you really need to go, you can just... <laughs> Would, wouldn't you feel comfortable just <laughs> jumping in there next to them? And... Sure. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head outside here. and We're going to just take a quick look. I'm going to try not to get murked. So we 
did see that there was a guard. Huh. Oh, no, that's curious. And that's a big cartoon lock that's been drawn on that door. Who's there? Who made that noise? I think that guard is on his way back. Now, see, one thing I can't help but notice is that that looks enterable and that looks jumpable. Now, I know the Thief one is not a game where you are necessarily always great at this kind of thing. But... Hell yeah. Oh, this is just that... <laughs> okay. What? We, we've been here. We were, we were here. We were on this... And that guy over there saw me, remember? Oh, I just yeah. found the way over to there. <laughs> now the big question. Can I make it back? Okay, almost fell. He didn't move until I was fully charged. What an ass. I get my arrow back. No, it broke. I don't know where he ran. There's not very many people he could be going to for help. We're just going to see what's what down here. Okay, a nice little, nice little bit of nature. Sure. Love a little courtyard that serves as a place to hide when the guard's coming up or down the stairs. He is really shouting for the guards. That's value right there. And then we turned around. All of a sudden, I don't care about this town at all anymore. Let's get out of here. Hey, Amabel. Yeah. You remember how to get back to the orphanage? I don't. Me neither. Uh, this way gets us out of this building. That's something. Yeah. Hold on. I'll figure it out eventually. That way. That way. We did it. Hooray. Hooray. Okay. I think the orphanage is this way. Kind of. And we come down here. This is the bottom of those stairs. This is exactly where we... This is exactly where we just were. I found those stairs. So the orphanage is this way. I think that guy's chasing me. Are you all confused there, friend? So here's the thing. My last save was on the stairs in there, but like just sort of like we haven't done anything since. So that's part of why I felt comfortable engaging in that kind of uh, combat while we have none health. You do have a healing potion, though. Oh, sure, sure, sure. It's making me so nervous. Uh, so this is Dogleg Alley, by the way. Okay. We were told that there's a an arrow of some kind in the gutters. I don't know what that means. A fancy arrow. Where are the gutters? What is meant by this? I don't know. I don't know. Fuck it. Whatever. So we're at the corner of... Dog leg's not even drawn on here. I'm sure it's the part that's like a dog leg shape, right? Maybe? Maybe? Maybe. Whatever. The important part is we got the money and now I need to figure out how to get back to the orphanage. This this is that same set of stairs. <laughs> Amabel, help. It's really well, I don't know how to help you here. I don't know how to Amabel. navigate this. Okay, hang on. Look at these signs. Yeah. No, that's Okay. Hold neither that's a, hold on. That's a living man. Just trying to be a little careful. Okay, so dog-legged polter. Uh, yeah, he sees me. 
Alright. Again, we haven't done anything since our last save. I don't really... I'm not really too concerned with... If I, you know... If I should fall. Uh, okay, so Dogling and Poulter. Poulter is here. So... At one end of Poulter is a road that goes pretty close to the orphanage and the other end goes the other end is where the tenements are okay so we are at the wrong end of polters i gonna just say come here please Hi. please i don't want to die i'm not gonna okay jesus what do i look like this is a here i'll hear all this is some proclamations. Okay, these are... We haven't read these. Uh, made by Mas Mr. Bellworth, Alderman of the Ward, with the benediction of Sir Sarah Penthorn, Burgomaster of White Bell. Uh, the inhabitants are... Yeah, don't drink any water from the fountains or wells. There's a boil water advisory on... Uh, sweels were mentioned in an earlier thing. I don't think that's a new kind of wildlife. I don't think we know about sweels. The wild sweels infestation has spread as far as Aldrich Farthing. Rabies is primarily a disease of the sweel. Seems bad. New tax. Let it be known on the 24th of Saonus. A new tax on cursed meats, garum, and ship biscuits will be in order. Cured meats, sweetheart. What'd I say? Cursed. <laughs> cursed meats. I would like to apologize. Cured, cured, cured meats, of course. Yeah, ship's biscuits. I can't believe you would have to pay for a ship's biscuit. What a world. Please, please, I don't want to die. Okay, that's fine. Don't. <laughs> Fucking ain't my business. Where does this go? I'm just going to terrify this guy a little bit. Please, please, I don't want to die. He's so old. <laughs> oh, you did the voice. Thank you. I mean, I didn't really. You kind of did the voice. I'm so starved for it that that that's that's ah, for me. That's, that's a. <laughs> <laughs> he went and found the only living guard on the map. All right, this is where we're calling it. Okay. I was gonna I was gonna try to just call the episode in front of the orphanage so we could get started there. But look at it. We we did add a second uh, check mark to the list. Yeah, and we got like two more, so that'd be uh, Steel... episode four. We don't have this mission. <laughs> Steal 500 loot to get started properly actually turned out to be a lot more of a challenge than I was expecting. Uh, so that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watch watching. At this point, we have returned to the city. And when you come back next time, we'll be making contact with Dahlquist and moving on to the next map. And I'm sure there won't be any complications, any complications whatsoever. I will see you then.